Didn't go enough out. Couldn't go far enough out. Unlucky. Ready for Jedi Survivor? I sure am. That's why I'm trying to get, you know, a decent run to, to leave this game behind on, you know, for now at least. See what Survivor brings. Probably not gonna speedrun it right from the start. Well, definitely not, because I gotta... Okay, cool. Gotta play through it first, right? But even then, run's probably gonna be pretty lengthy. And to my knowledge, we still don't really know about skippable cutscenes, but I'm assuming there won't be any, at least on launch, so... Probably wait on the speedrun a little bit, for sure. But definitely still really excited for the game, of course. Hopefully it's good. Oh, let's go. 145, that's nice. That's a nice one. I mean, this thing's been here, what, four years? Five. Never flew this, but that's... And now we wait. Those Jedi. A real tragedy. I've always said they couldn't all be traitors. Yeah, maybe. I guess it's just our lucky day. Gonna get a lot of good material out of it. Yo, what's up, Ski? First, uh, first time hitting Jedi uh, Fighter this stream after like 13 minutes of attempts. It's fine, could be better, could be a lot worse. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Praying for Nur to show up because that's kind of where this run, you know, let's go for a run today. Um, ideally, I'd want to get a run sub 47, so a 46x should be doable. Brockagel, you name it, man. You name it. Luckily, I haven't been in it for too long, but let's see where this run's going, right? That can A lot of things can go wrong on the train, so... <laughs> and yeah, I don't know if I'm going to even be able to stream much uh, at all before Survivor comes out still, like, today might be the last day. Because I don't have time this weekend, and I don't know how it's going to be next week. So I'll just hope that, you know, there's a good run in there somewhere today. <laughs> if I get a 46, then I'm just fully content. Just too good at Brock to get in jail. Gonk launch can, can screw me over sometimes, man. It did, it did screw me a bit there as well, like, first couple of attempts I just couldn't get it. Luckily I got Clam's first, first try the first time I got to it, so... You know, that's always another one. Also, what's up, Geo? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Drop jump has been getting me. For Clam's? Yeah, it's... It's definitely one of the most heartbreaking things in this early game when you just drop there instead of landing on top of the beam. It's ugh. good, finally not stressed about PP. Oh yeah, right. Congrats on that one, by the way. Didn't get a chance to, to skim through it yet, but I, I saw it. Try to beat it with the Olo. <laughs> Let's go, dude. 
First drop jump. Oh, okay. Well, that one too, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not really struggling with that one too much usually, so... That one's okay for me personally. But yeah, YOLO, regarding YOLO, no longer going to be in this in this run, I think. I'm definitely going to go for uh, for the airwalk strat. So we'll see how it goes. You're jealous. You know, you can't you can't be jealous. You've been avoiding that launch for so long now. It's time for you to also suffer to it, okay? Uh no, nah, that's I don't know. I'm not I'm not even that happy about it because like these last like ever since we found this new route, I've done YOLO launch like a lot more and I've kinda uh kinda got my mojo back with it. Like I think I get it now. I knew I know what I now always did wrong when I got the low launches. So it's still you know, I'm still not thrilled about doing it, but it's been a lot more consistent for me, so it's whatever really that I'm just switching routes. It's just more consistent and it cuts out two launches, so it's just really a no-brainer. You suffered on PC though? Well yeah, but you know, when has been when was your last PC run? Right? It's been a while at this point. So you've had some time off. Time to time to go back to the the dark days. But yeah, I don't know. At least you have fast cutscenes still. I'm still suffering through those. And have been for over two years at this point. <laughs> oh my god. God, if I get like a 4702 or some shit like that, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> I'm gonna be so friggin' mad, dude. Because uh, a 46 should be possible, man. So, if I get like really close to it, but not quite, I don't know if I have the, if I have the strength to continue doing runs. Maybe I'll just say, you know. I'll leave it here and maybe come back at some point, but, you know, probably not. <laughs> but who knows? Doing no scomp? Oh yeah, for sure. No scomp. We're doing the cancer neuro PBCs. <laughs> Dude, this is Benji. Well, it's also that if you do the airwalk route, getting scomp is like a, a longer detour. Because you don't really like you're not really in that area at all so if you do the airwalk route um it's a it's more time loss to to get scomp which probably means that if you want to do if you want to get scomp and have it be you know quite the fastest it can be you're, you'd probably be stuck with the yolo launch route but we're not doing that so you know God, I can't wait to to learn all the new cutscene dialogue in the in Survivor. Can't wait. <laughs> Cause I've kinda listened to these ones enough times by now. It's getting a little bit ridiculous. You PS5 people have probably forgotten all the all this stuff. Just skip them. Surely they will be skippable. Surely copium. <laughs> Is there uh, I don't know if any anyone else saw it. Probably not. But I sent sent it to Geo. There was this game called Callisto Protocol, which had unskippable cutscenes. Um, it came out like last year sometime, 
and they now added skippable cutscenes to the game. And I'm like, damn, what does it feel like to live my dream? This one's definitely burnt into your brain. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, and like in the announcement tweet, they even like mentioned speedrunners. They were like, oh, making speedruns even faster. And I'm like, wow, imagine. Imagine having a dev team that's actually, you know. Well, it's not like they care about speedruns, but it's just like they would add skippable cutscenes like later. Couldn't be respawn, man. <laughs> Uh. God, I don't know if I'm ready for the train right now. Ooh. I've done any practice before a stream except for, like I said, two run-throughs of Zepho. One of them having Nur be there and the other one having no Nur. So, yeah. We'll see how it goes, if we get to that point, uh, as Red. But we should, we should. Maybe I should have done Bogano launch once, but eh. It's alright. Surely it'll be fine. Oh yeah, by the way, I don't know if I said what... What's up, Pretzel, man? How you doing, buddy? All the green names again. SMH. Hold it. Don't move. How'd you get here? Easy now. Got a stowaway. Hear that over the con? A Jedi? Stay sharp. It was almost late, but it worked. We think it's actually RNG or that we're missing something. I, I don't think it's RNG, no. Because uh, I've gotten it too many times in a row for it to just be like... I mean, it could still be RNG, right? But it definitely has to do with the void out timing and, and the... I didn't slow that guy this time, whoops. Anyway, definitely has to do with the void out timing during the planet fusion setup. And... Also, probably how you load stuff in the out of bounds areas and all that. But, you know. Yeah. It's some weird thing that is definitely. Well, I say, I say definitely, but I don't think it's RNG, but it's. It might as well be with how weird it is. Maybe they will add, make an update after Survivor for Skill. I mean, you mean for Survivor or for Jedi Fallen Order? Because. Yeah, for Survivor, maybe, but. Definitely not for this game. I hope they do that. But we'll see. We'll see. Actually, Cal, this is not too bad. This is pretty okay, I'd say. Bro, Geo, I've messed up easy panache skip before. Don't fucking jinx me, man. That's still, you know, a possibility on PC. Okay, so that's one, that's two, that's the third one. Stop pausing. There we go. Wow, that is a nice Brocco, man. Is that a new gold? I'm smelling a new gold. Yeah, like a low 15 or a high 15, I guess. Maybe 16, we'll see. Maybe uh, gold by like a second, second and a half or some. And yeah, now you can say it. Now there's 
very little to mess up. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. That was pretty much perfect. The only thing I could have done better was, you know, you can always do Jedi Fighter better by doing, for example, the first cross space skip. Other than that, it was pretty nice. No time. You, I could probably save like a second by doing right side, but yeah, this was pretty nice. Fifteen fifteen, one one and a half seconds. What did I say? What did I say? Oops. Okay, well, fuck up the menu and lose all that, those seven, seven seconds. Unlucky. God, if you, if you don't get it perfectly and you're just stuck in the menus and you don't know what you have selected and stuff, it's just rough. It's rough. Sorry, I was AFK for a sec. Um, last night I got an 1847 Braca. Best with your route. Yo, let's go, dude. What uh, what skips are you doing in in your route? Probably the the Luker Hulk cutscene skip, I'm assuming. Anything else, or are you doing it mostly casual from that point onward? The Lucro cutscene skip at the beginning is just a no-brainer with, well, how easy it is. So if you just get the drop jump and uh, how much time it saves and how convenient it is to do. Because not having that those 30, 40 seconds at the beginning is just very nice. <laughs> just casually after that. Okay, okay. Yes, yeah, that's, that's not bad. That's not bad. Fifteen, fifteen. Yeah, I'm doubting a sub fifteen. I don't think it's possible with the current strat for, for Braca. Don't think it can be done. Cause like I said, I still have some time save, but nowhere near enough to save. Uh, well, sixteen seconds, I guess. Ooh, insane gameplay section coming up. Oh my god, that was insane. That might have been a new goal, dude. That was the perfect line. <laughs> god, this section is so silly. Ha <laughs> 
Any of you guys pre-order uh, Survivor yet? I don't think I'm gonna. Because... Uh, I don't even want those cosmetics, honestly. <laughs> I don't even want to use them yet. You know he didn't. Well, I do know that. The only person I'm I'm sure of is is well Fish, because I know that she's done it. And I and I technically know that Skyper didn't because it's still on his wish list, so I was once a Jedi. But yeah. Do I know you? Actually lose a few of their crystal computer. Yeah. If you if you if you wanna feel better about you did pre order pretzel, okay. If you want to feel better about your PC, just watch, like, old PS4 runs of this. They can, like, literally, I don't know, this is, like, 40 seconds-ish where they just run around on the, on the Mantis. It's really funny. Yeah, it's it's mainly your drive. So if you have a, a nice SSD, it should be pretty much instant. On PS5, it's still faster than for me. I don't have the fastest SSD or anything, but, yeah, on, on PS5, it loads very fast. Forgot to watch that video you sent me. Well, I didn't really expect you, or I didn't really expect that you watched it anyway. I just, um, like, it got recommended to me. It wasn't my recommended, and it was uploaded, like, a couple minutes ago when I saw it. And it was, like, exactly what you talked about. So it was like, oh, my God, this fits perfectly. I'm going to send that to Geo. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's one thing to consider if you're actually going to go with the 3080. Oh yeah, 3080. Try to get get a 12 gig one, I guess. Because there is actually, you know, recent PC games have been pretty problematic on uh, cards with lower VRAM. Like 10 gigs of VRAM are still not, you know, they're not as little as 8 gigs, of course, but... 12 is definitely a lot safer. Got a 970 Evo Plus. Yeah, that's a that's a very popular one for 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 PCs for sure, yeah. It's pretty pretty common these days for people to have it. Interested to see how all this direct storage in uh, PCIe Gen 5 SSDs is going to be. 6,000. Yeah, she was uh, looking at those as well, but I think she said they were pretty much the same, if not a little, a little more expensive. Yeah, that's the thing. They have a lot more VRAM than the NVIDIA counterparts, which makes them struggle a lot less in, in like, the games with where they demand high VRAM. Like, most recently, The Last of Us Part 1 PC port, which was horrendous on the, on the 8 gig cards and whatnot. Got your 6800 XT for only 500 on eBay. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly what what Gio also said that she found a 6 6800 XT for for 500 bucks. So it, at at that point, it's just a trade off if you want to have DLSS and the NVENC encoder and all that, or if you don't care about that, right? But. God, I'm missing all these TLJs, man. What the hell? But yeah, AMD definitely went a lot better about the the VRAM issues, and they future proofed their their cards a lot better by giving them a little bit over specced VRAM at the time, maybe. Bro, I'm telling you, 144 is just the way. It is so nice. I friggin' love it. I'm sorry I ever doubted it. 917. For next build, you might go all AMD. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. 
The thing with with Nvidia is just that, you know, technically they still make the best stuff. It's by no means the best value stuff, like not at all. But you know, the 4090 is still right now, for example, is above everything in terms of performance. So if you just want the best, then you know. But that being said, AMD said that they could have made a card that competed with the 4090, but chose not to. And they kind of made it seem like, oh, we didn't want to because it would have been too expensive and stuff. But it's actually funny. I think the, the watts that card would have drawn would have just been insane. Like the power draw on that card would have been crazy because already their current flagship, the 7900 XTX, is it? Yeah. Um, it draws so much power. It's wild. Like it draws more than the 4090 for the most part. And, uh, does, well, or the same, but, like, you know, it has a lot less performance. So that's kind of crazy how, how good the NVIDIA cards this generation are in terms of, um, efficiency. Which is, which is crazy, because usually AMD is the efficiency king, uh, like, with their CPUs. Like, the 7800X3D right now is so incredibly efficient, it's wild. Like, they're so ahead of the game, like, ahead of Intel, I guess, in that department. But with this current gen, for some reason, on the GPU side of things, they really aren't. Which is weird. God, this scan taking so long, man. You all right, BD? Well done, whoever you are. You have passed of your 5900X, yeah. And gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many Yeah, those are good CPUs. Stores in the droid. I am Master Eno Cordova. I may not know your name, but I Wait, do you have a 7800X 3D? Or no? Cuz if you have one then fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> But I don't think. Well, no, you might have one. Cause, funnily enough, the uh, the X3D. You have one. Nice, dude. Hell yeah. The uh, 7800 X3D was not like the, all the 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 3D V cache CPUs were not um, part of the Jedi Survivor bundle thing. So it was like for a second I was like, wait, no. Why would you pre-order the game if you just got it in the bundle? But then I remembered the 3D V cache ones are exempt from that, which is kind of unfortunate I guess <laughs> uh, but yeah that's nice I said it a, a bunch of times before but I'm still in a weird position with my hardware where it's like it's still getting the job done but it's starting to show its age but I can't really in good conscience like upgrade to something mid-range like a 4070 or something or 4070 Ti even because I'm just like it wouldn't be worth it enough, so I'm just kind of sitting on my stuff and being like, okay, well, I guess I'm just going to wait a bit more. Wait like a year more or so, and then look look at the situation and decide then. But yeah, I mean, so far so good, right? <laughs> I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. Well, almost to the fun part of the run. Hey. And also, like, if you want to meet some, uh, we're also over friends. halfway done, so. <laughs> it's so wild to think about. That we're, like, way over halfway already. And most of that has just been cutscenes. But that was the last long cutscene in the game. The only other cutscene is the Zepho entrance one. And that one is not too long. No, oh, come on, man.
Come on, brother. Come on. No, don't don't lose aggro. Come on, brother. What is that? That was pretty slow. That's no Bogano to Nur. Uh me personally no, but I don't really see how it would work. Because the mantis is like loaded at all times on the planet. So I don't know how that would work. And I think Z Money has put some testing in it, but into it, but I don't know. It seems unlikely, but yeah. Also, we would have to unlock another planet first, so we'd have to watch the vault cutscene anyway, because we can't select another planet for the planet fusion if we don't have another planet. <laughs> right? Yeah, now you're thinking, let's get out of here. Or Dath, yeah. But the thing is, to unlock Dathomir, you have to unlock Zepho anyway, so... It's just an, an extra cutscene, so really unlocking Dathomir is... Not the play, I don't think. Because you need to have watched the vault cutscene first, otherwise the other cutscene doesn't trigger. The the dark cutscene. Doesn't trigger until you watch the vault cutscene. I don't know, there might still be some route optimization and stuff in this, but for now it's it's pretty good. Do you love when you're in the vault? Um, maybe. I'm not sure, actually. It it does deload once you get into the push flashback. And not the push, push flash, sorry. If you put in the astrium and you get into the whole force vision thing, then it deloads. Yeah, that's true. But I don't know if it does it for the regular vault, too. It might, actually, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But regardless, it, it seems difficult to make that work still. Like, we can't really skip a loading trigger on the way back to the Mantis and then hit it as it, like, well, I don't know, it's weird. I find it unlikely, but maybe it's possible. Okay, thank God I remembered, but I do have to quit out here. So, don't forget. Don't forget to quit out. Because that would be pretty unfortunate. <laughs> getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. I hope that wasn't too early, but I don't think it was. I definitely hope it was not. Okay, focus, focus. First T. Oh, they don't usually shoot at you for that long on story mode. That's wild. Not that it matters, but interesting nonetheless. Don't mess up this jump. Easy. Yep, that jump is pretty scary, actually. If you want to go past that section fast, it's scary. If you just take your time and then do a big jump at the right time, it's fine, but, you know, it's still scary. Yeah. 
I'm actually going to go back and hit the village trigger just to make me feel better. I don't know. It's probably not necessary at all, but I'm going to do it anyway. I mean, I know it's not necessary, but even in practice when I did it, um, the time I went back there, it worked, and the first time it didn't, so... And the first time I didn't do it. So I'm a little paranoid. Oops, didn't mean to block. Okay. Noise. Over here. You did good work on the gun. Hold it. See, this is what the section between the Braca cutscenes room uh, fucking prepares you for to get the perfect line here as well. Let's go. This is the magic moment. This is probably where it's going to decide if it works or not. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows at this point. It is pretty optimized, yeah. I know it's pretty impressive, but... It's just what I do. Okay, die. Grab the thing. Yo, what's up, Z Money? Oh, you're just in time. Well, you're a little early, but you know. This is where it's getting decided. Didn't get a five minute load in, so that's good. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I've gotten insanely long load times there before. Like 50 seconds or some shit. It's wild. Thank God it doesn't really matter on PC, but still, it's crazy. Okay, nice. That's what you want to see. Fell in the hole. It's okay, maybe. Yeah, exactly. Depending on the void out timing, you can get giga long loads. Well, here's the magic moment. Let's fucking go, dude. Whoop, baby. Where to now? Ah, that is scary as fuck. But you must cope. Bro, I was coping so hard on this run, man. You have no idea. Whew. Should I try this today? No PPC? Um, you could. That is what... We have a runner doing that currently. He's doing this route. No PPC. You didn't have to quit out there? No, that is the strat. If you die at the right timing, there is no hyper... 
base effect going on here and therefore you can just travel to Nerd without quitting out. Or saving and quitting out so you save a bit more time still. And I could not for the life of me figure it out consistently, the strat, to have the strat work, but also have Nerby there. So I didn't do runs for, for very long. But a couple days ago I found something that seemed pretty consistent and uh, so I was confident enough today to put it into a run. Plus, I don't really have, like I said, this today might be the last time before Survivor that I have time to stream. So... That definitely also influenced my decision. Wait, the rocks are being weird. What the hell? This is not how this is supposed to be. Oh, there we go. Okay, well, that was a bit slow. I didn't get the full push forward. Might have been aiming a little too far left. I don't know. That's okay. If As long as we don't mess up the other stuff, we should still save quite some time on Nura as well. Never understood my setup. I don't know if I've ever explained it to you. Probably not, but it's not that complicated and it works pretty well for the most part, so... I don't know if it's applicable to console, so... That's why I never bothered to tell you. I've tried to teach, like, Hey Arrow and stuff. The quit out at Zepho is necessary. At some point you need to quit out on Zepho because you are an invincible, so you can't die and do the planet fusion if you don't. So that you have to do that regardless, but then later I I did a strat so that I wouldn't have to do yet another quit out. Wait, where the f Huh? Where's my force bar, man? I can't see my force bar! <laughs> That's not how this is supposed to be. Come on, man. <laughs> what the... What the hell? Okay, we're taking this nice and slow. Nice and slow. Oh, is that always like that? I don't know if I've ever tried it like that. Never noticed. Okay, come on, please. Okay. Good. Jump! Ah. Oh. Oh, easy. Easy, dude. It's missing for Z-Money. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever done a full run of this on Nur. Maybe I did, but I didn't notice. Okay. Only the Nur PPCs. And I didn't practice them, so... Unforge. Um, it's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> oh wait, I got it, okay. Okay, that was interesting, but sure. Okay. Okay, that was insanely cracked.
Holy fuck, what the hell? That was so good. No PPC. No, brother, I PPC'd. But sometimes it's weird. Um, 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 what the hell? Please don't get fished here. That was a lot of lag, but we should be fine. This... Is, is this the run that I've been waiting for all my life? <laughs> this, <laughs> this might be... What the fuck? Um... Did I just kill this category? What? Um... Yo, what's up, Thundy, man? <laughs> uh, I wanted a 46, I got a 45. What the hell? 45-21, baby! It is literally two seconds behind my sum of best. What the... I mean, the sum of best is not really that representative, but still. What? Yeah, good luck. Good luck, super. <laughs> wow. Um, well, that just happened, so... I'm in a little bit of disbelief right now how well that worked. Those nerve PPCs were clean. Wow. Hatred. You would have made an excellent inquisitor. What? <laughs> yeah, this this run is 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 pretty good, huh? Wow. I I I I rarely say this about my own runs, right? I'm always I always have something like ah, this was a bit bad. This was there's probably something bad about this run, but so far I'm not seeing it. I mean, Bogana could have been a little faster, I suppose, but other than that, this was... This was goaded. <laughs> what is this feeling I'm feeling? Is this the feeling of closure? Is it the feeling of... Of being content? <laughs> I... I can't... I, um... Uh... I don't know, man. It's a feeling of having too much for breakfast. Ah, that, 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 that's it. Right, right, right. No, you're right. That's it. That's the one. Um... This man is survivor ready. Oh boy, am I ready. Hey. Hey. Uh, bro, I, <laughs> hey, I was literally like, I had no plans to stream today. Like, no at all. But then I... Today I found out that I'm going to be out of town for the weekend. So I was like, well, I don't know if I'm going to stream next week. So I guess I might as well stream now. Because I'm gone starting tomorrow, so I couldn't stream tomorrow, and I don't want to. I didn't want to stream next week sometime because, you know, school and shit. And tomorrow I don't have. I have a late school start. You know, lectures start at 10 a.m. So I was like, you know, I can grind a bit today. Didn't expect to get this good of a run, like on the first run. This was the first Jedi fighter. This was. This was the first successful gonk launch. I guess, I guess, unless we get another cutscene skip, we ain't, this world like ain't going down. Yeah, unless we found, you know, unless Speed Idol comes, or Z Money, or whoever, comes around the corner and is like, oh, I found a way to teleport to Nerf from Braca, then I'm thinking this one, this one is the one for now. Have to watch your your void out and out about pathing again because I had two runs knocking her the other day. Oh, that sucks, man. Yeah, there's a lot of like um, one thing that I did do in this run is after you load into the hallway with the photo mode strat, I back up and hit like the the village cut uh, village trigger. 
like I back up with a hit the village trigger. I don't know if that's necessary. It's definitely not necessary because I've gotten it without doing that, but it's just a nice thing that I feel safe when I'm doing it because I've always had it work when I do that. Then I have some other superstitious things like I take a specific part, a specific pathing on the mountain after the the launch. I go like to this one corner and jump off there. I I I look at the hollow table while I air walk it. I don't know if that makes any difference. Probably not at all. I, I <sighs> bro, I I think I, I feel genuine happiness right now. What the hell? But it feels it feels too easy. It feels like I've not I've not earned this. <laughs> where to now? What the? I guess where to now? We're going to Survivor, baby. Screw this game. I'm out of here. Oh my god.